Hi and welcome to the first episode of NetCafe where we discuss everything networking and telecom related. Today we are going to dive into the world of uh, Azure networking. As more and more businesses are moving their infrastructure to the cloud, it's worth to see what type of innovations in the domain of the connectivity Microsoft have prepared for us. We will start with the key characteristics of the Azure Virtual Networks, then we're going to look at the connectivity options like peering or VPN that help us to connect different networks using uh, Azure. Uh, some benefits, services like uh, DNS or firewall that we can attach to our virtual networks. And then at the end, we're going to run a quick demo using the uh, cloud, Azure cloud environment. Let's go. Azure Virtual Networks offers its solution for creating a virtualized environment that closely resembles physical networks. It's like having your own data center, but in the cloud. And one of the key characteristics of the virtualized environment is the ability to leverage already familiar networking concepts. So for example, we can define our own IP address ranges, we can create subnets, we can configure network security groups, we can set up our own firewalls, DNS or DHCP functions to assign the IP addresses to our resources in the cloud. And of course, when we think about that, with the virtualizations comes the benefit of cost efficiency because now we don't need to uh, spend money, we don't upfront money to buy a physical network hardware and by that we can reduce our costs associated with the maintenance or, or upgrades. When it comes to the resource connectivity, Azure offers a powerful solutions that enable us a smooth communication between various resources regardless of the location in the network. So let's break it down in a really simple terms. First scenario, let's imagine that we have an, an on-premise server hosting an application that you want to connect to the Azure cloud. Azure provides us a feature called VPN gateway, which allows us to establish secure and encrypted connection between our on-premise network and the Azure virtual network. So with this VPN connection in place, our on-premise resources can be securely communicating with the resources in Azure. It's like having an invisible bridge that connects our on-premise infrastructure to the cloud. But that's not all, obviously. Azure goes beyond just on-premise connectivity and provides us connectivity to, to the public-facing internet. So let's take another example. Let's say, for example, we have a web application running in our in Azure and we want to make it accessible to the users on the internet. Azure make it easy by offering public IP addresses and low balancers, allowing our application to have a public facing present. So in a nutshell, Azure enables us connectivity between the many different network uh, parts. So between on-premise resources, with the internet, with Azure resources, and it bridges the gap between our existing infrastructure and the cloud, allowing for seamless communication and access to the resources anytime needed. Third characteristic is subdivided into the subnet. Well, subnetting in Azure involves uh, dividing the networks into the smaller logical segments or subnets based on IP addresses. Why do we divide Azure VNets into subnets, you may ask? Well, there are a few different reasons. First of all, it helps organizations with uh, resource management. By grouping resources into the respective subnets, it becomes easier to manage and apply network policies specific to those resources. Subnetting also allows for more efficient network traffic routing. With well-defined subnets, we can route the traffic within the virtual networks more efficiently, optimizing performance and minimizing the, the latency between the different resources. Lastly, subnetting provides improved network security and isolation. By isolating resources into the separate subnets, we can control the flow of the traffic and apply security measures more precisely. It adds an extra layer of protection to our infrastructure. The last characteristic is security. When we talk about Azure virtual networks, one of the key considerations is ensuring the security of our network infrastructure and resources. Azure provides a robust set of features and tools to help us achieve this goal. 
When it comes to networking in Azure, we often need to establish connection between different networks, whether they are in Azure or on-premise. This is where uh, peering comes into the play. Peering uh, is a service that allow, allow us to connect virtual networks in Azure so that they can communicate with each other more securely. Peering can be done in basically two ways. We have a regional peering and we also have a global peering. So starting with the first one, it enables connectivity between different virtual networks, but within the same Azure region. On the other hand, we also have a global peering that extends the connectivity beyond the Azure regions. So it enables communication between VNets in many different Azure regions across the globe. Now, we should also talk a little bit more about VPN connections, because in some scenarios, what we need to do is to establish a secure connection between our on-premise network and Azure virtual networks. This is where uh, services like Site-to-Site -Site, uh, VPN comes into the play. So Site-to-Site -Site VPN establish an encrypted tunnel over the public internet, connecting our on-premise network to Azure virtual network. We also have something called Express Route that takes the connectivity to even next level because it provides a dedicated private connection between our on-premise network and Azure bypassing completely public internet. With Express Route, we can establish high-speed, low-latency connection that offers more reliability, security, and more consistent performance. We can also discuss point-to-site VPN, which unlike site-to-site -site VPN, which connects entire on-premise networks to Azure, point-to-site VPN allows us individual client to connect securely, securely to Azure resources. So it's like having an encrypted, it's like having an encrypted bridge between our devices like laptop, mobile phones, and connected to Azure. To enable these VPN connections, Azure provides us with the VPN gateway. So VPN gateway is, acts like an entry point for VPN connection, whether it's a site to site, point to site, or express route. It provides all the necessary routing, security capabilities, to facilitate security, secure connections between the networks. Here in this slide, I have listed four different benefits of using Azure VNets, starting with the security oriented uh, benefit is the network isolation. So basically VNets are providing us the isolation for our resources and by that allowing us to control inbound and unbound traffic to our network. This isolation enhanced network security and minimize the risk of unauthorized access. Then the second benefit is scalability, which is very classic uh, cloud uh, benefit, I would say. But just to be mindful that we are allowed to scale up or scale down the uh, size of our virtual network, depending on the needs of our services need. Then uh, subnetting flexibility, because we have a possibility to um, divide our VNet into the small logical pieces and by that we can improve management of our resources because it's just easier to, for example, segment different resources together or enforce different policies. Last but not least, I already mentioned connectivity options. So as I already in explained in the previous slide, we can use VPN connections in the different flavors. We can use peering depending on what is the need and what type of resources we connect with the Azure uh, infrastructure. Now I have prepared a slide where I have listed six different types of the services, exemplary services that we can attach to our VNets. So starting with a very classic uh, networking service, which is DNS, with a usage of uh, services like Azure DNS, uh, private zone, we can enable name translation. Of course, we can have a routing secondary type of services. I listed here with the BGP protocol. It will help us to enable the traffic uh, routing between different subnet, between different VNets. Uh, filtering with the usage of uh, network security groups and firewall. Load balancing that will help us to evenly distribute uh, incoming traffic to the pool of our virtual machines that we have enabled in uh, in VNet. 
um, network address translation and many different security appliances such as VPN or um, web application firewall, network security groups. Okay, now after running through the slides, it's time for some real life uh, demonstration. We are going to create two different vignettes, production and services vignette. First production vignette will have just the one subnet, production subnet, while the second vignette will create services will have three different subnets, database, services and gateway. And well, yeah, in the future videos I think we can extend this by adding some connectivity, security mechanisms. But right now I'm just going to create how to create vignettes, how to create subnets and how to assign a proper number of the IP addresses. Let's jump to it. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is the creation of the resource group. We select the resource groups and now create. Here we're going to provide the name for our resource group. In this case, it's a vignette testing. Review and create. Create. And now we can handle the virtual networks. So we will select virtual networks in Azure portal. Here we're going to click create. And uh, let's put the resource group that we just created and now the name accordingly to the slide before we're going to select the name production vnet. Excellent. And now we're going to put the region in this case UK West. Okay, great. Now we can move to the other parameters like IP. Let's select the IP space. For, uh, for our virtual network, so it's 10.30.0.0 with the prefix 16. And now let's add the subnet, let's click add subnet. In this case we have just one subnet, production subnet. So here we're going to put the um, subnet range, address range, so it's 30. 10.30.0.24, which give us 20, uh, 251 um, addresses available. Let's add. Okay, and now we also have other options like this, um, bast enabling bastion host or uh, DD DDoS protection tags. Let's put review and create. Okay, validation pass. All the details should be accordingly to what we have assumed. Okay, now we click create, waiting for the deployment to be end. Okay, and now we just wait for uh, deployment to be ready, production vnet. Okay, and it's already here. Let's move on now to the services vnet. We're coming back here to virtual networks. We create the same resource group vnet testing. Let's give a name for our vnet services vnet in East US, it's already here. Okay, let's move on to the IPs. Let's uh, remove the default ones and let's put the IP address space that we want. So it's going to be 10.10.0.0 16. And we have to create three sub, uh, subnets here. So the first one is going to be database subnet with the IP uh, address range is going to be 10.10.10.0 slash 24 that will give us 251 addresses plus 5 addresses reserved for the Azure services. Uh, let's add the second subnet now. The name is going to be services subnet and here just like in the previous example we're going to create similar size subnet it's 10.10.20.0 slash 24 the same amount of the available ip addresses 251 and the third one the last one is going to be gateway subnet subnet gateway subnet perfect and now the subnet address range is going to be 10.10.30.0 slash 24 and now let's just click add Okay, we now we can also move to the security, but we are not going to do it right now. Let's just move directly to review and create. We click create. Waiting for deployment to be done. 
and we're coming back to the Azure portal to verify the deployment. Now we can see our VNets. So we have already deployed services VNet with three different subnets, database services and gateway. Uh, gateway subnet with available 251 IP addresses. And that will be everything for today's session. And thank you very much for watching. And I hope that we can see each other in the next video. Bye.